going on here? This is great. <coughs> Won't be long and I'll be able to put the wood in here. So the plan is, I just come in the door here and we're going to put two rows of wood on this side and on this side two more rows and I'll put it right to the ceiling. And the ceiling this is I don't know pretty close to eight feet up here so quite a bit. The roof has got to get finished off and we have uh, it will be vented there and vented on this side, which allows us to, uh, whatever the evaporation goes on in the wood, to be good enough to get it out of here. And uh, between those two rows and these two rows on this side, I'll put a row going this way up to the, to the ceiling, and I'll build it all backwards out towards the front of the door. I've got two sliding barn doors to go on here. <coughs> and I picked up the hardware today. <coughs> the only thing I couldn't bring is the uh, the rail that goes across the top for the, the doors to slide on. <coughs> and our builder is going to uh, have to put the metal roof over here up on top so look at this looks like our dogs <laughs> and none of the roofing which is down here has been put up there yet <coughs> and we should have enough boards to finish it off and there'll be a few boards left over <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be going into the city tomorrow. Finally, I got a doctor's appointment. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if we can clear it up. My wife decided she was going to put that straw in there no matter what. I don't know if the dogs are going to go in there or not. But that straw is going to end up in their hair and it's going to end up in the house. And then, we'll have to clean that up. So as soon as these fellas are done, I can get in here, well, I'll put the mower through this door, or whatever, once it's cleaned up. And uh, we're going to repurpose this, put it back out front of here, and I'm going to put the two bird feed cans, I don't know, maybe on the corners of it or whatever. But right now, let's go over the hill and uh, check the beaver. See if Bucky's around at all. I really doubt it. The Department of Natural Resources came out here, I think it was yesterday, and they were doing a uh, survey on uh, how much the trees grow every 10 years. So they had to have access to on my property. Oh gee, push too hard. All right, let's see. That shouldn't be too bad. Check it. All right, let's go see. Holy freak side in here. <coughs> It's 31 degrees Celsius outside. For a Canadian, that's darn toasty. And maybe tonight, I'll get out here and I'll uh, do something about those darn bees. It's awesome. I get to go see the doctor. He's going to listen to my lungs tomorrow. And I'm hoping that uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Bo 
most of the time I take forever to go see the doctor. But that's not working. Just a second here. Fuck you back up. Here we go again. Bob's got to play with his freaking tripod. Yeah, that's pretty good. <coughs> so we've got a lot of exciting things happening here. Of late. We're going to uh, get the bush hog in here. Oh! And welcome to the two new subscribers. We're now at 262. <laughs> Don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you look at my uh, some of my favorites, or the ones that I support, great channels. Cecil and his wife Heather in Ontario. And uh, Capper Outdoors are two that I know oh, for quite a few years now. I've been watching them for a long time. <coughs> so when this, uh, anyway, thanks for subscribing and uh, don't forget to like the videos and all that kind of thing. Now, this guy that's going to come down here with the tractor and the bush hog, he can swing the bush hog off the tractor four feet from the back of it, he said. So all this bush on the side, that'll get mowed out this time. And then after that, I'll come down here with the hockey stick and uh, flick any rocks that might have come out so that I can get down here with my uh, mower without running over anything, any of those rocks. I don't think a side-by-side -side would work too good down here. It's pretty thick. <laughs> it's a little hill there. And if we're any luck, we may be able to spot the bear moving. Alrighty. water yet. Now, I think October is our rainy is our rainiest months where it rains the most. No. No beaver. My, my son and the uh, DNR or whatever, they come through here and they said uh, where they walk through the woods, the, they were following down the creek. They said there was uh, no running water, it was dry, and the big beaver dam was almost empty too, which could be good for fishing actually. On our way back, we'll stop and take a look a little bit and scan the beaver dam. <coughs> Let's take a look at this one up here. We've had a pretty dry summer here. The kiss and it uh, like we had a bit of a rain last night, but it wasn't enough to do anything. We just uh, wet the grass a little bit, and that was it. Now this is where I spotted the bear the other day. No. Nope. This is nice. And of course I'll take you down here uh, but when the leaves start changing color, it is beautiful here. 
uh, we've got all these different colored leaves, red and uh, orange and yellow. It's quite spectacular, actually. Oh, something fell down here, and I gotta get out. Let me see. Be right back. Actually, beaver. See that? He was in there, cut it down, knocked her down right here. So, hang on, we'll pick that up next. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. And if I don't clean those beavers up, or whatever, to do something about them, they'll have trees laying all over the road. But I caught that. <coughs> Oops. Seat belt. And this is where the other beaver dam is, so. Right down in here. So I didn't go very far. And I've seen water up to here. So these buggers must be w walking around. Look, you see. I'll show you some stuff here. Or something at least. <coughs> see the trees? They're all red. It means they're dead. And the cedars are starting to turn a little bit too. Maybe in the winter time we'll come in here and uh, I'll cut a little, cut some of those trees and see if I can lug them out to the road. If I don't do something with them, they'll just die and rot. And I sure don't want to, want to lose it. Being that those uh, trees that I bought for my wife's pergoda, the thing for the grape, they were like seven, eight bucks a piece. <coughs> but he's a difference between me and the guy that brought them. Like he's 30 years old, and of course I'm well in my 60s now. A lot easier for him to lug them for seven bucks or eight bucks. It's worth it. 
<laughs> yeah, shout out to Jody and his wife. I hope you watch this video. You let me know. Almost to the end. Be glad to see this get cut back. Have no more expenses this year, anyway. No more projects, big projects. Next big deal is to get the potatoes dug up. And I think next year, instead of four rows, I'm going to go with three. So I can get more space uh, in between them. Now, I'm trying to figure out the difference between determinant and indeterminate potatoes because one of them you don't have to heal but that means it's going to grow into really hard dirt and I don't want to uh, have to dig in hard dirt so I want to make sure that I keep the same kind there's still lots of freaking bugs down here And in the winter time from here, you can see the house off in the distance. Looks pretty neat with the lights on. But after the snow comes, you can't come down here unless you got a snowmobile. It'll be about three, four feet, over a meter's worth of snow laying in here. In some places, two, three meters deep. <coughs> I did uh, snowshoe for the first time in many years last winter. The uh, up in the upper fields there, where I take the dogs for a walk. And this winter, if I can uh, get some wind, I'm going to uh, put the dog harnesses on and see if the, how they are about pulling uh, firewood back. See if I can get them used to doing that. Give them something to do. The dogs like a job. And they're kind of bored, I think, most of the time, especially in this heat. Because <coughs> they, uh, they don't go outside or stay outside very long at all. Well now. Lots of boulders on the side of the road. They're hard to get rid of too. They're like a, the weed of the plants. Some of them look like birch though. Yes, sir. Look at that. So this is about where the beaver was. Just up here a bit. And dirty buggers. But if I don't do something about the beavers, there won't be no trees here. It'll be one great big pond full of mosquitoes. <laughs> These are ferns growing in on the side, on the right hand side. That's an older there. I don't 
buggy. Yeah, things sure have changed. You go into the city like I had to take the dog to the groomer today. That was ice. It's quiet. There's no crowds anywhere. Somebody was saying there was uh, there's only 4,500 jobs left in the in the core of the city <clears throat> when there was something like 12,000 jobs before this COVID hit. Which is, uh, I imagine most of them are all sitting home pick, collecting checks for free. <laughs> <coughs> Not free. Government's giving everybody like $2,000 a month, but they're going to be claiming back around six or $700 of it here in the next tax year. And everybody who spent all that money is going to go, Oh no, I don't can't pay my taxes. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get some different traps too, apparently. Uh, and we'll be able to uh, you know, see how much that's dried out now. That was like muck. I'm certain there's no beaver around here now. But he's going to come with the tractor and he's going to push all this crap in the, out of here. That won't stop the beaver. work. More work. A nice cedar banister there. <clears throat> but I think what I'm going to do is I come down here with the chainsaw <clears throat> after the bugs are gone and I'll just start cutting a bunch of this stuff that's laying down here up. And then I'll get somebody, maybe my son with his tr truck to come over and then we can start picking all this wood up. Now that I got a really nice woodshed go on the go there. And right in here, this is where the water would fill up to too. You can see some old stumps way back in there too. From when they cut the property over. I'm pretty sure if you don't cut it over, it opens up really nice, like underneath the trees. Pretty dry. You can see the there's a lot of brown leaves. <clears throat> I get down here at the mower soon again. See what I mean by the, the branches? They're all going growing into the road because that's where the light is. Bang go. Shabang. <coughs> now if we have an early snow <coughs> and the leaves are still on the trees, the accumulation of snow on the branches and the leaves will pull all those things down into the middle of the road. And then I'll have more problems. Here, maybe you get a nice view up in here. I don't know. 
Let's have a look, see. This is a stand of cedar. You can see in there a bit. I don't know. It's pretty thick. So what I'll do is I gotta come down here and I gotta get some of these posts poles. And I'll look for some straight ones. And they'll be oh five or six inches around or diameter. And uh we can use that for my wife's next pergoda. So maybe next weekend, not sure yet, we'll be uh, pulling all the wood off the driveway and getting it into the, uh, the new woodshed. And if you look up, to the left, that's where the woodshed, the doghouse is. Happy as a goldfish in a fresh tank of water. And you can see, if you look up there, you can see where the new doghouse is. There's a bunch of bush there. I gotta get in there, I gotta climb down over the side of the hill with a rope with a weed whacker and try to get rid of that growth because there's a thing called burdocks in there. If you look them up, there's these things that are about the size of uh, a cheese ball or a cheesy ball and uh, they stick to the dog's hair. And because they do that, dogs get all worked up when you try to get them off. So it's just best to get rid of them. I'll show you what the plant looks like because there used to be a whole bunch of them right here. <clears throat> I cleaned them out early summer here. See all that funny looking vegetation there? That's all burdocks. And I guess what I got to do is I got to keep mowing it and hopefully I can get rid of it just by mowing it because it's all up in this grass and it's all over the place now. And I want to clean out the rest of this uh, stuff. I managed to get the mower in here a little bit more. I don't think I can go any farther in. Isn't that beautiful though? <coughs> and I got to get some salt and uh, vinegar or something to kill all the vegetation here. We've got a rock retaining wall there like the rock retaining wall up here. It just, we got these plants called lupins. They're pretty at one point of the year, but then they turn into really ugly looking plants after that. So anyway, thanks for coming along. The spin over the hill. Alrighty. Back up just a little more. All right, good enough. And off to the city again tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for coming. And uh, if you like the video, please press the like button. And when you subscribe, there's a little bell there. If you click on that, you'll get get a notification every time I put up a new video. And I put up videos sometimes two, three a day. Sometimes one a day, and sometimes I miss a day or two. 
But usually I'm pretty consistent about getting uh, video up because it's kind of neat that you can see the uh, the changes over a period of time because I keep going over the same place and uh, just basically the same property over and over and over. Anyway, toodaloo. See you soon. Bye-bye.